also in the event the conflict breaks out in uh, the Taiwan Straits, it will certainly not be contained uh, within the Straits, as has been mentioned by all the speakers, and will have serious geopolitical and economic consequences globally. And to my mind, much more serious than the effects of the Ukraine conflict. Coming to the situation uh, in the Taiwan Straits, I think here the prestige and interest of two large powers, US and China, are directly at stake. Uh, China considers this merger an unfinished agenda and the true beginning of the Chinese century. Uh, the US regard, and rightly so, regard Taiwan as an example of democ democratic resilience against authoritarianism and a symbol of, uh, free, of the free world. And geopolitically, what happens in Taiwan Straits uh, will have a major uh, effect on the balance of power, not only in the West Pacific, but through the globe. It will shatter the first island chain and encirclement, be a big blow to U.S. primacy in the Indo-Pacific if it goes the wrong way. And uh, there will be a U.S. will face a loss of uh, global credibility. Uh, also in the event the conflict breaks out in uh, the Taiwan Straits, it will certainly not be contained uh, within the Straits, as has been mentioned by all the speakers, and will have serious geopolitical and economic consequences globally. And to my mind, much more serious than the effects of the Ukraine conflict. When I look at India, from the India's point of view, a conflict in the Straits would have serious direct and second order uh, effects related to geopolitical and economic security. Because one, half of India's trade flows to its east in this direction and disruption of global shipping will have an adverse effect. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, shipping disruption will have consequential impact on supply chains on which key segments of Indian industry are heavily dependent. Disruption of semiconductor supplies, uh, we all know, would potentially paralyze industry and lead to significant unemployment in our country. And of course, uh, when we talk of undersea cables, the critical infra infrastructure sabotage like disruption of uh, submarine cables, where Taiwan is an important hub, will have an adverse impact on the flow of critical data. And geopolitically too, as I mentioned, there's serious fallouts for India, depending on how the conflict pans out. So given uh, what I've just said, uh, what do we do in this fracturing, uncertain world? And how do we navigate this grave and complex uh, situation that is we are confronted with? Our nations need to exist 
and compete in this reality without getting sucked into this ongoing negative spiral of great power contestation, the Cold War mentality uh, that sometimes drowns out rationality. As far as India is concerned, it has chosen not to get embroiled in this great power confrontation by focusing on its core interests and uh, through building strategic autonomy, uh, not through non-alignment as in the past, but through multi-alignment, uh, engagements, issue-based convergences, and cooperation. Yet, having said that, I'd hasten to add that a world dominated by certain countries is definitely not good for us. And the standoff at the Sino-Indian line of actual control, which is now in the third year running, uh, it has been an inflection point that has sharpened India's competitive instincts vis-a-vis -vis China. Also, we see Chinese belligerence and intimidatory hard, uh, use of hard, hard power. Uh, that leaves India disconcerted. Look at the way they are, they playbook in South China Sea. And we in India uh, definitely do not want this recipl recip uh, replicated elsewhere. So therefore, uh, my proposition today is that uh, we all uh, need to work together to prevent the situation from Taiwan, uh, the Taiwan Straits from turning into a crisis, uh, from, from a crisis into a conflict. And how do we do this? And to my mind, uh, I've got three propositions. One, uh, we need to prevent de destabilization of the region. Second, build power ballast uh, amongst the middle powers and the global south to make sure that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll elucidate on that. And thirdly, and very importantly, uh, preserve the balance of the power on the side of the free liberal world. What the changes in India's population and the differential growth rate rationales about why it's not ending? What's your rationale? We have a very special the guest show, on the record. The interview. The role that the uh, US side played at that point of time. Puri dunia ki nazar. Zoom, my phone is tapped. I can probably say hello to Mr. Modi. Aapke Bharat par hai. Pakistan has a unique negotiating the style. Rising confidence of India and the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Communist China is the greatest threat. There will come a day that we will see far more radical extremists. I'm, uh, I'm still a little perplexed by why we... Your daily dose of news from India and across the world. 
cutting edge views and analysis tune into hd videos click on the bell icon to subscribe